So, I'll share to you guys something about how we screen first. So at least it becomes more obvious. Okay? First things first. We talked about exponential moving averages, and that's the only indicator I'm going to use for you guys today. I'm not going to go into detail. Exponential moving averages is basically the average price in the last 10 days. Okay? So if a stock is strong, think about it this way. If a stock is strong, should it be way above the 10-day or below the 10-day? Above or below? It should be above, right? If a stock is strong. Okay? So think of it this way, is that every single stock, the reason why we don't use a lot of indicators is because if a stock is going up, do I need an indicator to tell me it's strong? Is it overbought if it goes up 20% in two days? Is it overbought? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Is it strong up 20%? No, duh. Do I need an indicator to tell me it's strong? Of course not. That's my point. Did you guys see, understand? Okay, so I don't need indicators. So that's the reason why I don't need indicators because indicators are just validation. It's just validation that it's strong. But obviously, if a stock is up 20% in one day, I don't need a genius to tell me, oh, laksa. Alang 20%, nde, mahina pa yan eh. Diba? And then these are things that I tell people. Everything that we do starts at the 10. It's just for confirmation. Starts at the 10-day EMA and ends, more importantly, it ends at the 10-day EMA. So when you're momentum trading and you see a stock that's already below the 10-day EMA, that is not what I taught you guys. Okay? So it starts at the 10 and ends at the 10-day EMA. Okay? So just for initial purposes for what the price will look like. Okay. So, first thing about price is that it has to be a six-month high. Okay. Preferably a 52-week high. And the importance of having a six-month high, it's because if it's at a six-month or a 52-week high, is everybody making money? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So, if, everything is, if everybody is making money, what's the resistances? Meron ba wala? Wala. Because who's going to sell if everybody's making money? Wala naman may problema. If someone's going to sell, okay, if everybody's making money and someone's selling, that means it's a, just a matter of profit taking. But underlyingly, everybody in this room, if it's at a six month or a 52 week high, everybody is still happy and making money. Okay? So that's the point of first things first six month, 52 week high. So if you give me a chart that's not six months high, and you see a chart that has resistances prior to it, and I'll show you guys examples, those are not what we're looking for. Okay? Second, after this we see a six-month high, we want to see the surge in price. Okay? What do we mean by surge in price? Normally it's greater than 5 to 10%. Okay? But normally the price gain has, the range of the price gain has to be greater than the prior two months before that. So when you see a chart that breaks out, that's really what we're looking for. Okay? So actually, initial screening for stocks is actually not that difficult. You're looking for a six-month high and a stock that is breaking out with volume and a strong candlestick. That's it. Okay? Second part is about volume. Normally, we look for volume spikes that are greater than historical. Okay? When you're trading penny stocks, what it normally looks like is that it's dead. The price and the volume is dead. Wala nang yari yan, eh, di ba? And then when it breaks out, you want to see that with breakout with volume. Okay? Normally, we look for everything that's greater than 40 million in turnover. In February, usually it was greater than 100 million. And I'll share to you guys this story why you need volume together. Okay? If you see a stock breakout, if you see a stock breakout, walang volume, who's buying that? Sino yun? Sino yung mga player na yun? Tingin nyo. Anybody? Jockey? Jockey? Wala mang volume eh. Sino yan? Tingin nyo, insider? Wala mang volume eh. Ha? Huh? Sino yan? Nag-break out, wala mang volume. Sino yan? Nagkamali lang. Hindi yan nagkamali. Tayo-tayo lang yan. <laughs> Did you guys understand? Do you guys understand that? So if you see a price break out, walang volume, I'm telling you guys, tayo-tayo lang yan. Kung tayo-tayo lang yan, sino mag-aakit ang presyo? Ikaw o ako? Asa kayo. <laughs> Hindi ako magpapakit ang presyo na yan. Did you guys understand? Okay, so if you see a price break out, walang volume, tayo-tayo lang yan, sino mag-aakit ang presyo? 
Siyempre, wala. Kasi magtitingin na tayo, hihintay tayo. Bilisan mo, pindutin mo na. Okay? So that's the problem. If it's just us there, then the price, there's no follow through. That's why volume is so important. It's because if someone's willing to bet 30, 40, 50 million pesos into a stock, sino yan? Then it has to be somebody bigger or somebody who has inside information. Think of it this way. Why would you put in 50 million pesos without you knowing anything? Did you guys understand? I mean, I'm, I'm not here to get people in jail. Okay? But my point is, when you see stocks break out, and you see it with volume, 30, 40, 50, 60 million pesos, you always have to ask yourself, why would somebody pay up 50, 60 million pesos for nothing at all? Okay? So most likely the one that's speculating and betting a lot, most likely that person knows something. Did you guys understand that? Okay? So remember, when you're buying something, you're buying a stock that's on a breakout or something that's based on price, you have to make sure that you need volume together. People ask me, what's more important? Sabi ko, you need both. It's like 1A, 1B. Probably price is more important because price tells you a better picture. Okay? But at the same time, as for most cases, you need volume to accompany your stock price. Is that clear? Clear? Okay, so if you notice how we're going to be teaching, it's just on two things. Price, volume. Bonus na lang, EMA. But the purpose of EMA is just for you to end everything at 10 EMA. So please don't momentum stocks, momentum stocks that are already below the 10-day EMA. Because when they're falling, when they're falling, okay, it's totally different on the way to the top. Because when prices are going down below the 10-day, now people in the short term are now losing money. When people are losing money, psychology is different. Because when you're making money, you're thinking about, oh, when can I sell? When can I sell? When can I sell? So because you made money. When you're losing money, your psychology is different. Sana magrali. Para tabla. Tapos hindi nagrali. Tapos sabi mo sa ilim mo, hindi, magrali din yan. Tapos buba ulit. Cut loss ka sa ilalim. Kaya nangyari, buy high, sell low. Okay? So remember, guys, please, starts at the 10 and ends at the 10. Only two things. Price and volume. Very good. Kaya natin to. Okay? And last but not the least, is preferably in most cases, you want to see a stock that is coming from a base. So a base is often defined as a duration, a consolidation. And normally they look like forms of boxes. And the reason why is simple. Okay? When there's nothing going around with that company, it's coming from a no interest subject. Right? Nobody likes it. Nobody's looking at it. Okay? So normally when you're having a stock that's no interest, nobody's looking at it, is anybody there? Meron o wala? Siyempre, wala. Kaya wala nangyayari. Okay? So preferably we're looking for stocks that are in consolidation duration or in big ranges with no volume at all. Because in most cases, nobody is there. Clear? Make sense? Okay. So, 